Today's video, we're going to be rating the different types of side hustles that we did and maybe want to do later. And we're going to be rating them by the scale of S tier to F tier, S being the best and F being the worst or non-profitable. So, so let's head into the computer and just kind of go through the different side hustles and sort them into that scale for you to choose what side hustle you want to do later. I will start with the first one and it is eBay reselling. We did eBay reselling for like two years, I'm pretty sure. We had some problems so we had to stop, but it's on the rank of the side hustles. I liked it really much because we made around $4,000 with that side hustle. It used to be after $22,000 you pay tax, but now it's after $600 you pay tax. So that really brings your profits down. So on the tier list, I think so it deserves a definitely a C because it's not the best side hustle and it's not the worst side hustle because there's some pros and cons. All right guys, so the second type of side hustle is going to be selling stuff on the streets. We already tried that side hustle and it's in this video. It's really interesting. Go check it out. We made 200 bucks in four hours. And we, I think we did it for two days. So that's 400 bucks, eight hours. That's really good. That's a good profit, but there's problems with it. First of all, the ice doesn't really help with the popsicles. So that's kind of ruins the popsicles and the profit because most people wanted the popsicles. And the second bad part is that you get a lot of sunburns. I had to go, it was, it was a big problem for me for two weeks. I couldn't get out of the sunburns for two weeks so I think I'll rate this into a the B because it's it's not the worst but it's not the best I can I have more different strategies I can make money better than just selling stuff on the streets so Instagram theme pages is our third side hustle we're gonna rate and if you didn't know don't know what theme pages it are then just watch this video that we made not that long ago but instagram theme pages are really interesting to do because we did couple and you just have to post every day and then gain followers so we tried couple times and these are the different types of theme pages we did they really didn't succeed but we're still going with all of them and there's one good one that's going right now it's this cat page that we started so we're gonna check what we're gonna rate it to there's it's not really a lot profit for now as beginner you're not really gonna get a lot of profit out of it the first thing so i'll probably rate it as a c tier because it's not really profitable as a beginner but it takes around year no not really a year a couple months like around six months just to get your first couple thousand followers and at least one promotion this is side hustle number four, NFTs. You probably heard of them here, they, you probably heard them there, but, and you probably heard of their downfall. Yeah, so basically they fell a ton in price, but I made some not that long ago because I just learned how to make them. The game plan is to go in there, come home with a pocket full of cash. Here are some of the examples that me and Daniel made, like right here, right here. They're gonna be all over the screen. But not bad, like as you see, as a beginner, it's not that much training, you can just go on YouTube and find it. If they go up in price, I think so, it will be a lot of profits because they're really easy to make. But for now, I don't think so, it's the best side hustle. Okay, now it's time to rate it. Um, I don't know what I'm thinking yet. So basically, it's not profitable, but it's fun. I'm thinking D, because it's not as good as theme pages and eBay. But, I mean, if they go in, for, in price. So, I think so. it des definitely deserves a D, not F. Because F is just a little too low for that. I mean, it's alright. YouTube, a full-time job for many people, as you know. But, is it profitable? For example, Mr. Beast. That's his full-time job. And there's many others. Entertainment, for example. Vlogs. Financial, like us. Also, sponsorships make YouTubers a lot of money, like Coco Melon, $750 million a year. That's crazy. That's why you should subscribe and get us to 1,000 subscribers. Okay, now it's time to rate it. The pros of it is that you get a lot of money later, 
but for now it takes long to get that thousand subscribers so definitely not a s tier but definitely an a tier just because how long it takes to actually get the thousand subscribers and actually start getting paid a lot so I'm going to talk about the sixth side hustle, and that side hustle is going to be Shopify. Using Shopify, you can do different types of businesses, but the business we were kind of successful in was Shopify dropshipping. To just explain what Shopify dropshipping is, is you get a pro you find a product from AliExpress, you create a store on it, and then you advertise it, and then the people go on your website, buy the product for $30, for example, and then you go onto AliExpress, you put their address in for like, you find the product for eight bucks, you ship it to them, and you make the 20, whatever that, 20 bucks profit from that. That's how you make money off dropshipping. So we definitely had success in this type of business because as you can see in this video, I'll post it right here, you just go watch it. It's really interesting how we went through this and we made a couple dollars. Right now we're working on a big dropshipping store, which is going to be interesting. And if you want to see more dropshipping stores, just comment in the comments below. So let's start and go rate right it. So dropshipping is really hard to get into as a beginner because you have to have like a couple dollars for advertisement. Well, if, if you want to do organic advertisement, then you'll do it for free, but it takes longer. So obviously I would rate it as a s because that's most successful we were in that kind of business so i'll put it as a s you should definitely try it out and if you want to see more videos as i said comment below so now let's talk about the next side hustle and that would be filming and photography i'm a filming guy as you know we do youtube color bro subscribe actually but as we do filming i kind of liked it so i started asking people if i can do their weddings for them and i got a customer so my first wedding i made four hundred dollars from just a couple hours of work so i did five different types of videos the first one was the wedding video and it was successful four hundred dollars in my pocket and Four different other ones were church event videos. I did them for free, but I got a blessing from them. So I want to rate the camera filming uh, filming side hustle as a S. As you guys know, I'm really good at it. I'm re I really like it. I research about it and stuff. And I actually did a wedding, so that's good stuff. So now we're going to talk about the snow shoveling business type of side hustle. You might have heard it a lot because that's the most famous side hustle there is in the winter and me and Tim tried that. The pro about it is that all it takes is a shovel and your strength, you know? You need to have muscles. So we did this side hustle for two to three years and we had fun and we made money off of it. We made around 200 bucks a year. So if that's calculated, that's 600 bucks of profit we made in that side hustle. The profits are we make around 20 bucks to $30 a house. Depends on how big their driver is and how big their house is. So I think that's a really good side hustle for teens and the beginners. So I'll be reading the side hustle right now and there's a lot of cons about it, so that's why it's stopping me from rating it as an S or an A, because it's only a seasonal, so you're not gonna make full on year profit. So I think I'll rate it as a B, because you, you can make a lot of money, but it's just a seasonal side hustle. All right guys, so this side hustle is not really a side hustle, but it's a real job. Most people do this job as a living and make millions and billions off this job. And it is stocks. Stocks are everywhere right now. Stocks are in every single business company like Tesla. You can go on a Robinhood, for example, and go invest into Tesla. But the cons about stocks are that if you put in a lot of money, that means they're under risk. And if the company is doing bad that day, the stock goes down and you lose a ton of money that you put in. So if we made maybe 20 bucks overall but we're not really interested in that kind of investment st style not my type and less money so i'm putting it as a f tier i'm really sorry guys but that's not my type a lot of people like doing it and don't like doing it it's a really great method to make money like it's easy you put in a bunch of money 
and you have it under a risk. That's the biggest problem I have about this side hustle. So I'll just put it as an F. I don't like it. Garage sales, not my favorite side hustle just because of how much work is actually put into it. Because you have to find the products, they have to set up the tables, then you have to set up the signs, then customers, it just takes up the whole day. And at the same time, it goes with garage sale reselling, not my favorite thing, just because you have to walk around, and sometimes there's not even garage sales any day, you just have to get lucky, and you have to find it, and reselling is just a big pain in the neck. Okay, now it's time to rate the garage sale and garage sale reselling, it'll go together. So I'm thinking not, and nothing above B, something around C, D, and F because of just how much money is, um, how much profits you get is not that high. So I'm thinking of like the time is used, not the my favorite side hustle, so I'm gonna put it D. And just remember, it's just my opinion. You can th think differently. So my best, finally, for my best side hustle I always liked and I did since I was 10. And that side hustle is reselling all different kinds of items. We made around maybe two grand around there, maybe a thousand something, I don't remember. But our biggest, biggest reselling thing was we bought it for $300, it was a go-kart. And we resold it for around 1,200 maybe, but that's a really good profit. But when you start reselling all different kinds of stuff, you kind of start understanding what sells and what doesn't. So what I want to give you advice to is start selling different kinds of iPhones, buying them for cheap and reselling them for more. Even if they're cracked, just fix them and resell them for a lot more profit. And different types of Apple Watches, rugs, MacBooks. Oh my gosh, so let's rate it right now. It's This is gonna be a side hustle really hard to rate because I really like it and I do it a lot. But, I don't know, it's kind of hard, but it's really interesting to do. So that's why I'll put it as an A tier. Now it's time to do Sweatcoin, an app that pays you to run and walk. Sounds too good to be true. <sighs> okay, today I ran Oh, it's going up, it's going up. 5,067 sweat quarters. Sorry about the quality and the audio, but I just came inside because it started raining. And I searched up how much would it take to uh, earn $1,000 on Sweatcoin, and it said 33 million steps. I mean, you still walk, but that's still a ton of steps. I think, yeah, it's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. And it said it'd take you approximately eight years and eight months to get that thousand dollars and that 33 million steps. Lawn mowing, it's one of our most best side hustles because we made around a thousand dollars in the summer and next year we're gonna even keep up the grind because all you need is a simple lawn mower, a simple blower, and uh, a weed whacker there. You can get those really cheap on Facebook from like fifty dollars for a lawnmower or like a set for even a hundred bucks, which is really cheap and it'll get you started. Okay, so now it's time to rate it. Um, profits are big because you, all you have to pay is for gas and the line. Other than that, it's good. So I'm thinking put it as S tier because that was one of our best side hustles and it earned us a lot of money in the summer because you can do it just consistently. DoorDash, I've been doing DoorDash personally, but I talked to some people and they say that about you earn about $25 an hour. And if you work for 10 hours, I calculated, if you work for 10 hours, you make around $250. It can be lower some days, it can be higher, which is still a good paycheck, $25 an hour. That's even more than some people get at their normal jobs. So definitely one of the best side hustles that I still wanna try later when me and Daniel start driving. We're definitely gonna try that, so. Okay, last one, let's rate it. Um, okay, so like some of the cons, yeah, you earn a lot of money, and but the only thing that you do is basically only gas that you pay for, and some fees I think so there is in there, but I heard so much really good reviews about it and definitely look forward to try it later. So I'm gonna rate it at A because of how much money you make this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And a special shout out to Logan Kirtland 08 
for following us on our Instagram. If you didn't know, we have an Instagram at Colobros right here. Go follow it for our next shout out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on the video. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Peace.